Hey guys, Adam Trigger here, wagertalk.com, back with another college basketball preview. Today we're taking our only trip to the SoCon during previews. We're going to talk about UNC Greensboro, but first I want to talk to you about a special that I have right now, college basketball, my entire season of picks using coupon code TRIGCBB. That's T-R-I-G-C-B-B, entire college basketball season for $395, one of the lowest prices we will offer all year. I've net a profit of about 49 units in college basketball the last two seasons. I intend to do it again this year. I'd love to have you on board with me. So right there, T-R-I-G-C-B-B, and you can get that over at Wager Talk right at my short link, wt.buzz slash A-T. All right, listen up, because this is one, I kind of have a pretty strong idea of what I'm going to do with this UNC Greensboro team, and I think this is a a big potential money-making spot for us early in the season. So take notes because I think there's going to be great, not good, great opportunities to bet against UNC Greensboro, maybe all season long. And in the next five to six minutes, I'm going to explain to you why. So first credit where credit is due. Mike Jones is a really good coach. He's picked up right where Wes Miller left off and he's continued to build this program. Same identity has kept the identity of the team. Fantastic defense, hard-nosed team, um, always you know, in his three seasons in charge since Wes Miller took off uh, for Cincinnati. He has either been first or like top two or top three in just about every defensive metric in, in the conference, and he probably will be again this year. He recruits freak athletes um, in the paint positions at the four and the five spot that are just really, really athletic, maybe not, you know, not going to have the seven footer, but he's going to have guys that are six, seven, six, eight, six, nine, that are just insane athletes that can defend um, that, you know, it's going to be really, really difficult to score in the paint on this team. But what he had last year and what UNC Greensboro had last year was that, but maybe the best shooting team they've ever had. So, they had the insane uh, the insane defense that we've kind of like has been their identity, you know, first in this conference. But they had an all conference player in Mikel Brown Jones, who's now at Ole Miss, and they had Keyshawn and Kobe Langley, who are fantastic three point shooters. This was a team that was basically a top fifty three point shooting team nationally last year, and had one of like the premier players in the conference in Mikel Brown Jones. So the way I look at it, I don't see any possible way UNC Greensboro can overachieve from last year because I I just don't think there's any chance that the incoming players, the transfer portal guys, are going to replace the production on both ends of the floor that they lose with the Langley brothers and that they lose with Mikel Brown Jones going to Ole Miss. The one so so let's just quick about who comes back. Donovan Atwell comes back. He was a big part of that team last year. 30 minutes a game, about 11.2 points per game. He was one of the better three-point shooters hitting three-pointers at a 42% clip. But he he was, you know, even if he elevates his role, there, and even if someone like Jalen Breath, who still probably comes off the bench, gives good minutes in, in the post, there's no way that those two, are, in my opinion, overachieve to the to the point where they become one of the Langleys or they become Mikel Brown Jones. So, you know, last year, let's talk about Jalen Breath for a second. Last year came off the bench. He was more of a guy like that was in there to to defend and rebound. He's he he's a great option at the four or the five position for what UNC Greensboro wants to do, but you could get 20 minutes, 25 minutes out of him because you didn't need him to score. Brown Jones was the one that was going to do the scoring. The Langley brothers were going to hit shots. Atwell was going to do the scoring, and yes, he's still there. But if if you need now need thirty minutes out of breath, you're just not going to probably get that offensive production. So who comes in? It's Kenyon Giles from Radford, Ronald Polite the third from George Mason. You got Demetrius Davis from Chattanooga, Malik Henry from George Mason as well. All upperclassmen, all good players. I think Davis and Henry give you that athleticism in the post. I don't think they lose much there on the defensive end. But I'll tell you right now, Davis, Henry, neither of those guys are going to score like Brown Jones did. They're just not. They were they were 16 to 20-minute game guys at their last stop. 
neither were were scores. So I don't think you're going to get the scoring from there. Last year, I talked about NC Greensboro, one of their best three point shooting teams ever. One of the best, you know, one of the best three point shooting teams in the country. They bring in Kenyon Giles from Radford and Ronald Plate the third from George Mason. These are both tremendous basketball players. Again, I think you get the uh, you know potentially the athleticism on the defensive end. Giles a little bit undersized. He's only like five nine, five ten, but um, I still think pretty good. You know, full court defenders. Mike Jones likes to press. I'm sure UNC Greensboro will be able to do that. But neither of these guys are good three point shooters. Rad uh, Giles with Radford last year around thirty percent. Polite around 29%. So that's an issue because you're those two are not going to replace the outside threat that the Lang that, that Keyshawn and Kobe Langley, you know, were last year for Greensboro. So Jones as a coach has never exceeded his his sort of Ken Palm preseason ranking. Uh last year Greensboro definitely overachieved. Where this team is going to be positioned in the market in this conference, still as like one of those top three, top four teams that could contend. I could really see them taking a step back, but more importantly, since we're, we don't really care where they finish, we care about betting on them and cashing tickets. Greensboro got some market respect last year. There was times like as you got into February where they'd be up against what I consider to be a pretty even matchup and they'd be laying seven. What I'm hoping for is that Greensboro gets similar market respect this year because of the name and because of how good they were last year. I don't think this team is last year's team, and I think we're going to get some really good numbers to, t- to, to play against the, the Spartans, especially early in the year before anyone has seen them play. So that was our preview on UNC Greensboro. This is a team I'm looking to play against, and I think you're going to find some really good spots to fade this team in the early going. Like, subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can continue to bring you these free previews. We're going to have 30 of them in total by tip-off on November 4th. They're all in a very nice playlist over on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. So please like and subscribe and go check out all these as we head to tip off on November 4th.